Andy Johnson. We are looking at the three queuing systems that the brain uses to create meaning with print and some research that supports this. Our brain uses three queuing systems to identify words during the act of reading. Semantics, which is context meaning, syntax, which is grammar and or word order, and phonics, which is letter sounds. Now, if you define reading as simply sounding out words, this three queuing system model makes absolutely no sense because phonics is used to identify single words out of context. However, in reality, we seldom, if ever, encounter single words without any sort of context. Even a single word encountered on a sign has some sort of context that enables us to create meaning with that sign. Much of the research used to support a purely phonological model of reading is based on the assumption that reading is simply sounding out words. Subjects were asked to identify single words or nonsense words outside of any meaningful context. So the assumption that you have of what reading is influences the questions that get asked and the data that gets collected. Reading is creating meaning with print, just as listening and comprehending what I'm saying is creating meaning with the sounds, not identifying phonemes and words. You're putting them together, hopefully, to create meaning. Now, the three queuing systems model is a description of how the brain identifies words during the act of creating meaning with print or read. It is not an approach or a method like the phonological model is just like this except more inclusive. Now there are many strategies to develop each of the brain's three queuing systems, but the three queuing system model is not an approach. It's a model like the phonological model. But we believe that reading is more complex than simply identifying single words. Word attack skills are important is one way to identify words, but phonics is one of six ways to identify words while reading. A comprehensive approach to reading instruction should address all six ways.